and following the motorcycles will be the motor cars. Very, very shortly now here in the arena will be our parade of motor cars for the day. Able to see them here before lunch today, as opposed to last thing in the afternoon where we've been accustomed to seeing them for a number of years. The cars will be followed at 12.30 by the mules. Yes, the mules. If you've missed them so far on your journeys around the showground, well, the mules will be in the arena to see you at 12.30. As I mentioned earlier, there's all the refreshments you can possibly need to keep you going through the day. There's no need to go home for your meals. Plenty of refreshment units around the show. And now our motor cars. Running like clockwork, isn't it, today? Oh dear. Uh, and First into the arena is the Triumph Stag. Now the Stag, a car which unfortunately did have a lot of bad press, but it wasn't actually due to a bad car at all. It was uh, a bit of a tough lot of engines that were supplied on one occasion, which kicked back right against all the uh, Stag sales figures at the time. And it's a big weekend for the Triumph Stags. They're having a big show this weekend, not so very far away here in the Midlands, so we're very grateful that quite a number of them are here enjoying the show with us here today. They're just picking them out at random as we go by, and there's the pre-war box all there. Probably a 14 horsepower, just a quick look at that one as it went by, but this is the the big addition with the boot on the back. Oh, yeah. The British Jaguar is coming very much into his own recently and we're very lucky. We've got um, quite a number of the Jaguar marks here as well. The Morris Thousand, the Miners and the Thousand. Morris Miner, of course, came out pre-war, but he rolled through to this iconic little Morris Miner that we're so used to seeing. The MG. Great to see we've got the weather today where people can actually get the tops down on the cars and enjoy it. Yeah, the women don't take the tops, do with a bit of a difference there, just gone there. Something going on down in the engine department. There's an earlier miner, there's a bit of stream miner from the early 50s. There's an interesting office there. Is unusual bodywork on that one. And there's a Rover, a P-Series Rover. So you see, um, <laughs> this particular design came out pre-war and Rovers were still doing their best with them immediately post-war period. First of all, Japanese cars that I've spotted out here, the Dats are just going past us. Mark II Ford there. We do have, I think, two or three of the continental, uh, the uh, American produced cars. They've got the Buick there making its way past them. Two door Range Rover. Little off with 
the Ruby Seven.